What's up, everyone? This is the Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we got going on a few of some of the newer events here in Persona 5 Royal. We hung out with Maruki a little bit, and we got introduced to, well, for lack of a better word, Elizabeth Dates. Except instead of Elizabeth, it's the twins. So I guess, twins date? I don't know, saying it's a date, it seems very weird. But it is basically just hanging out with the Velvet Twins out in the real world. In this episode, we are steadily making our way towards the beginning of the Kaneshiro arc. But we still have quite a bit of time before we have major plot developments happening. So, what exactly are we doing this evening? Well, we head on over to the secondhand shop. The retro game set's available. So, no reason not to get that now. Um, I'm not entirely sure if the game set actually comes with anything initially. Uh, we also have a crossword puzzle here. So, what have we got for today? The label for an unparalleled artist. So, this one is actually really simple. Master. Or really at the top of any single thing, really. I mean, Yes, in this case, it does specifically refer to the arts. But... It doesn't really need to necessarily stick with just art. Also, apparently, Picasso has a very, very long name. Alright. I see. Nice. Imagine that being the actual crossword puzzle. It's like... Artist with the longest name in history. And would anyone figure it'd be Picasso? You know, without really looking at the letters. Hey, hey! But anyway, we've set up the game console. And playing games functions the same as it did before. So we can just go play games, it will increase our social stats, and once we get access to Akihabara, We'll be able to turn these in for various different bonuses. We did not get a chance to play through all of the games in the first run through. And there's even a couple of new games that are available. Okay, we do still have Starfornius. So, that's good, I guess. I mean, to be fair, we don't exactly have anything going on this evening. So, there's any number of things that we could potentially do. Um, I mean, we could try reading, we could play video games, but I'm gonna just head on over to Central, well, actually, I should have a teleport to it, there it is, I'll just go to the gym and I'll meet you guys in the, for the next day. Okay. I guess this wouldn't be a bad opportunity to see how much of a boost the imported protein gives. Well then. Yeah. Look at that skillful run technique. I guess we aren't just skipping on over to the next day. Oh. All right, and All right. just like usual, All right. three HP, two SP, nice. All right. five HP, and All right. three SP. Ooh, that is much better than just normal protein. Wanna head back? All right, and I think we have one more day on the treadmill before we're able to move on to the next uh, workout technique. But anyway, day moves on to Wednesday. Oh, yes.
How about you? Now what? Oh, it's totalitarianism take things further than authoritarianism? Um, simple. That would be controlling public thought. This is it. Exactly. Well said. I mean, there's certainly a difference between reading the room and going full totalitarian on so an entire culture. One is just being considerate, the other is forcing someone to your ideals. So... Bit of a jump! Just a smidge. So... get drunk on power, and especially with the metaverse, it'd be easy to bend people to our will. Best to try to avoid that. Hey. Well, that was a long day of school, and we also have our social studies trip coming up. So, yeah. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. So anyway, what do we got for today? Well, we can hang out with Kasumi. So there's something that we could potentially do. Um, interesting thing is like, oh, wait a minute. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, huh, my notes say that I can hang out with Yusuke, but I'm not sure if I can actually do that. Okay, so we have actually have a few options. So we can hang out with Kasumi, we can hang out with Takemi, or we can hang out with Maruki. Um, we are getting pretty close to where we won't be able to really spend a lot more time with Maruki. Uh, let's see, what rank are we with him? We're at rank 5. I don't remember if it was rank 5 or rank 6. But you eventually do get time-gated for spending time with Maruki. If we should really focus on that, or if we should spend time with Kasumi. Although, I don't exactly have a faith persona on me. 
maybe better to hold off on Kasumi at the moment. And instead, we just head on over to the practice building. Worst case scenario, we actually do get the time locked notification. And then we can promptly spend time with Takemi so we can get her quest in Mementos. Hey there. What a scorcher, right? Ah, yes. Okay, so there we go. There's our time gate. So, at rank 5, we will not be able to spend any more time with Maruki. This gets lifted once we get back into school. So, come September, I believe, we'll be able to spend more time with Maruki again. But, for the time being, we won't be able to spend any additional time. It may kind of suck because, you know, Maruki's confidant is already time-gated until the end of November. But, you gotta make sure that you don't get too far ahead of yourself. So, with that, actually I could probably just respond by a text message. Uh, we'll spend some time with Takemi. That way we get her quest in Mementos, and then whenever we head into Mementos, we can do that as soon as we can. Alright, so with that, we have Takemi's Mementos quest ready. So what exactly... Actually, can I even leave LeBlanc tonight? Yes, I can. It just so happens that I don't have any confidants yet again. Well, there is one thing that I can do. First, I gotta get these people out of here. And then we can try to read that book. So, we have Expert Billiard. So, thankfully, this only requires one reading time in order to get through. But, with this, we'll be actually be able to use billiards to our advantage. Make sure you close up. Hmm. Nice. So now, thanks to reading this book, we can increase the technical rank, which will increase the damage that we deal when performing technical attacks. So when we do billiards, if we're able to successfully do the trick shot, which I don't know if that's just automatic or if that requires proficiency to do. To be honest, the first time I played this, I didn't even find this book until much later. So, I was already pretty high in proficiency. But anyway, the more time we spend doing billiards, the greater our technical rank is, and so the damage that we deal with technical, attack technical attacks is increased. And, the more that we increase that, the higher likely that we'll be able to... Higher likely the more likely chance we'll be able to knock down enemies through technical attacks. We can already knock down enemies using technical attacks, but it's not really consistent. But by raising the technical rank, it'll become a little bit more consistent. Oh, it's proficiency. Wait. 
was whatever. Anyway, so we have the proper gear that carried over from New Game Plus, and it's that trick cue that we got before. But we also need a degree of proficiency. So the higher your proficiency is, the more likely you are to actually succeed in doing these trick shots. Um, again, I was already pretty high in that skill before really delving into this sort of thing. So I don't know exactly what proficiency ranks that you need in order to perform the certain trick shots. There are five, so I'm not entirely sure if it's just you need that level of proficiency in order to perform that level of trick shot to go up in technical rank. Uh, it could be that, but don't quote me on it. <sighs> and now we're off to bed. Right. Well, that was a very slow day. Also, the fact that it was just... It's the same as it was before. Except there was also a delicious pancake line. Anyway. Um, still nothing. Jeez. Okay, well, good news is we do have various places that we can go to. Um... Let's see, today is the ninth. Yeah, in the original game we didn't have today to do anything. So we have a day to do stuff. Uh, well, I can head on over to Kichijoji. And I can actually show off what it means to get a technical rank. Oh! And the twins are available. So yeah, you can tell at a glance if the twins are available to do like a spending time with them. If Justine is out here in the real world. If you only see Caroline, then it's not available yet. But if Justine's also there, then you can go and spend time with the both of them. Uh, I won't bother to do that. Um, instead, I kind of want to take a look around here because sometimes in Kichijoji, you'll actually find people that you recognize. Also, the dude still isn't there. Um, I don't... I've never actually seen it happen myself when I played, but I do know that it can happen. Well, whatever. At this point, all we're going to be doing tonight is spending time at Penguin Sniper. Welcome. What do you play? So we'll go ahead and play some what billiards. Do you do? Thank you. This isn't gonna be easy, but hmm? then huh. nailed it. Nice. Nailed it. I knew you could do it. And with that, we have now reached technical rank two. Oh, there's only four? There's only four technical ranks? I thought for sure there were five. Huh, I guess I was wrong. Well, at the very least that we have the increased technical damage, 
Once we hit technical rank 3, we'll be able to get even more damage and an increase to the knockdown rate. I see. Wow. And by the sound of that, it seems like we got another increase to charm. Yep. Hmm. Okay, so with technical rank 2, you don't need the, the special Q stick. Uh, you are going to need it for future ones. I'm pretty sure for technical rank 3 you need it. Definitely for rank 4, though. So, whenever you have some spare money, it's a good idea to go get that, uh, the Q-Stick. That was so much fun! Bye! And the day moves on to Friday. It... Kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Wait, what? On. Oh, oh, it's you. Huh? I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Ha. Huh? <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. Hm. Well, that may be your opinion, Akechi, but... From my viewpoint... I don't think they would run away. In fact, quite the opposite. They'd stay and fight to the bitter end. Oh? You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's alright with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? You want to hear my opinions? Well... Sure. I'd love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Well, it's nice to have a new debate partner. you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast 
hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And with this, we've established a new confidant with Goro Akechi. That of the Justice Arcana. So you might be wondering to yourself, well, Destro, why did you bother showing that? We've already had Akechi as a confidant in the previous game. But that is where you would be wrong. Yes, Akechi was a confidant in the previous game, but Akechi was a plot confidant, just like Morgana and Igor, where his confidant would progress over the course of the story. In Royal, however, Akechi is a normal confidant. So in order to progress in the Justice Arcana, you do actually need to spend time with him. Which is quite a departure and makes a hell of a lot more sense considering here in the formation he says, we should spend time together, and then you'd never do except whenever he just kind of swings by LeBlanc. All right. He does have his own various abilities that you will unlock. I actually don't remember what all you get from Akechi's confidant, if I'm being completely honest. Normally, I do remember these various things. Um, I don't really recall. Well, we'll figure it out eventually, once we spend time with Akechi. And I can go into a bit more details on, well, where exactly we go for that. Yes, we should exchange contact info. Right, here we go. And registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. I'll see you then. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. I know it's a risk, but I think there might be some benefit to this. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. My thoughts exactly. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? Sure was. I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. This should be interesting. Alright, so now that we're back from looking at our text messages, what exactly are we doing this evening? Well, can I do confidants? I can! I can hang out with Kawakami! Hooray! And that's literally the only one. Well, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. So... Actually... Before I do that, I'm gonna head on over to the Velvet Room and withdraw Shiki OG. Uh, I don't want to run the risk of potentially losing him, so I'll go ahead and put in a new persona. Alright, so now I've got a Robus in the uh, uh, solitary confinement cell. I also didn't really do any fusions. There's not really a whole lot I can do at the moment. So, I guess I'll just wait until I enter the next palace or something, or in case I need something a bit sooner. Oh! But anyway... Hi! We've got Kawakami's confidant to do. Hey! So, tonight, we're spending time with her. Thank you so much! Hmm?
Okay, okay, I'll be sure to do that. Um, by the way, it's good to hear that you got some good cough drops, or cough medicine, or whatever, but how are you feeling? You're the one who's actually sick. Okay. Definitely not good for her. So that was a lot of things that we just skipped. Yusuke's welcome party, and that's pretty much it. However, we do have some brand new picks. Ah, jeez. That's more of a detriment, if anything. Best I can do is curry. As for the futon, like, that's my bed. I don't want to give that up. Unfortunately, this is the time where we can't leave because, you know, Yusuke's here. Did something happen? So... We'll just go ahead and... Sleep for the night, since there's really nothing else we can do. Hey, hey. And now Yusuke's gone. And more messages? Ah, okay. Targeting restaurants, Misha Mishimari, talk to us about this. Blah, 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 blah. I forget how long this one is. Hmm. There we go, jeez. Hey. Okay, so that's done. What are we doing today? Well, well I guess the shopping network isn't on. More of the mafia group there, so can't really do much anything there. So let's see. So we could hang out with Takemi, which we can't. There's on, and that's it. Not really a whole lot else going on. So I guess we'll hang out with on and go from there. Hmm.
Ooh, that's a lot to try to do just immediately. But if anyone can do this, it's you, On. You got this. So after that, what have we got for text messages? We have Ryuji inviting us to darts. <laughs> what do you want to okay, do? Okay, well, we could do that. There's also EY. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, nothing there. Okay, what else? There's EY. There's obviously Yoshida. Doesn't look like there's anything else going on today. And I don't have anything else going on, so... You know, I haven't really spent any time with Yoshida. Let's go and change that. What would you like? Ooh! Okay, I just kind of came in here on a whim, but I guess after you take care of Madarame, there's some new DVDs available. So we've got Not So Hot Betsy, I see you, jailbreak, and the running dead. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, we'll just do it with the Walking Dead ripoff. And next chance we get, assuming there's a free opportunity to just goof off, we can just spend time just doing that. Anyway. Let's go ahead and do Yoshida's Everyone. confidant. Good evening. Oh. Oh, well, you're very welcome, Yoshida-san. thought it was helpful.
Nothing really out of the ordinary. still be worth checking out. I mean, if he's dangerous, then it may be something for like a mementos request. But if it's more helpful, then who knows? Nothing we can do about it right now. How tragic. Turn green. This is it. <laughs> That's it. sure that would just burn your scalp. Nice Not to mention any other nasty side effects of washing your hair with metal. schoolwork and Makoto figuring out that we're the Phantom Thieves, I think we have time to do one more thing. Of course, it'll get to plot more plot stuff, but whatever. I feel like we haven't really done all that much today. So where we are off to is a confidant in Kichi Joji. So who's that Kichi Joji? A catchy is. So there are two confidants that are available within Kichi Joji. One during the day and one during night. During the day, you can find Kasumi here, just kind of out right here, right by the Velvet Room. Uh, but Akechi is actually kind of close to the darts area. And actually, since we kind of got that tip earlier today... Um... This is the guy that I was telling you guys about earlier, and the guy that the rumors were telling us about before as well. Uh, 
Ignore that. <laughs> Chaotica has been putting updates on quite a lot of her games. Wait. What exactly do you mean by Chapman? Well, that all depends. What do I get out of all this? Seems like a fair deal. This doesn't seem as bad as what those girls were talking about at school. Very well, Sakai. I understand. Ah, ooh. Okay, well, unfortunately, we already used that. <laughs> okay, so this is what I was mentioning a little bit briefly before. So, at various points in the game, Sakai will be here requesting certain items. So... For the time being, he is requesting imported protein. If we can get him one, then he'll give us a decorative whip for our efforts. So these items tend to be pretty unique. Um, nothing that's really too special. But there is a book that you can only get from him. Um, I did miss that book my first time around, so I'm gonna be extra careful to make sure I get it. Um, but he is kind of around during a certain range of days. So it's not like you have to get the imported protein on the 13th. 
He'll be around for a couple of days in any one setting. Then he'll be gone for a little bit, and then he'll be back for another couple of days. So there is a range that you can work around, but these ranges don't last all that long. Okay, so he wants an imported protein. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm seeing, like... <laughs> oh, that is Mr. Haruda! Interesting. I mean, yeah, it's not just your teachers. Sometimes you will find your adult confidants that are around here, too. Uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. Pressing all the wrong things. So, yeah. Sometimes you'll find your teachers just kind of down this way. Uh, sometimes you'll find some of your other adult confidants that are here. Uh, so, d it varies. I honestly don't know who arrives when. So, I have no idea, like, when they all appear. But, if someone wanted to go and document that, they'd be more than willing to do so. So, anyway, can we buy another imported protein? Uh, uh, no, we can't. We can get moist protein. Interesting. Unfortunately, uh, it's a shame that we already used that. I'll have to check in every couple of days. And hopefully I would be able to fulfill that. It's not really that big of a deal. The whip probably isn't really all too great. Probably would be fine for this point in the game, but whatever. We're not going to try to get all of those items. Just the book. But I will try to check in with him every... As often as I can, so that way we can see what sort of deals that he has available. Uh, ooh, actually. I do not believe I have a Justice Persona. I don't. But thankfully, Plot Stuff gave me a couple extra... Uh, spots. So I can head on over to the Velvet Room real quick, grab a Justice Persona, and then we can hang out with a catchy. So give me a minute. Alright, so I went ahead, grabbed an Archangel, and now we can see a brand new Confidant! Kind of. Sort of. I mean, it's a catchy, but it's a new catchy Confidant. It's still the same old catchy though. You want to play around? Well, I'm not going to say no to a good game of billiards. What do you want to do? So, tonight we're spending time with Akechi. It's good to hear. I mean, I imagine this isn't a common occurrence for you. I mean, you always seem so busy. What with being on TV and your own detective work.
Yeah, I know how it works. <laughs> Impressive. Not bad, Akechi. Not bad. By the way, it didn't matter how I responded to that mm. one. to go at it a bit carefully. I don't want to put too much power or else I'm going to overshoot. By the way, didn't matter how I responded to that one either. Or the next one, for that matter. Huh. Ah. Oh. That is so disappointing. feel right. Why does... Why does it look like he's not holding it right? Correct me if I'm wrong and catchy, but aren't you left-handed? When we shook hands when we first met, you used your left hand, but you play with your right. That's not bad. perceptive person. I see a lot of things. Even if I lost, 
It was still a lot of fun. Catchy's an interesting one. Actually being just ambidextrous is pretty impressive. But even people who can use both hands for any number of different things, there's usually one that is still dominant. And it's just very subtle. Very subtle, but you know, you can still pick up on various things. So anyway, for reaching rank two with a catchy, we now have a new ability, Sleuthing Instinct. So Sleuthing Instinct allows us to randomly reveal one affinity at the start of battle. This could be anything that isn't neutral. So a weakness, a resistance, a nullification, reflection, or absorption. Anything All that right. changes how an enemy reacts to a certain element can be determined at random thanks to this ability. It's nice when it does happen. Um, I'm not entirely sure we'll be able to see it in action because of New Game Plus. A little bit of a shame, but <laughs> it is something that can help you out when you're first fighting enemies in a new area. So when we're going to head on over to Kaneshiro's Palace for the first time, it would actually be really good to help determine certain weaknesses or any other affinities. It's not a bad ability, but again, because of its random nature, it's not something that you should rely on. But it's nice when it happens. Well, I look forward to that day. Goodbye then. See you around. Oh. No, oh, you're very welcome. You mean, as rivals? <laughs> All right, take care, Catchy. So after some more plot stuff, I think now is about as good as time as any to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. We now have, well, more plot stuff going on because Makoto's threatening us. Anyway, we're still going to be doing some plot stuff, but at the very least we do have our evenings for the time being to get some extra stuff done. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything going on this evening. So that at least gives us a little bit of time to catch up on a few other things. Maybe do darts, billiards, we've got a DVD. There's plenty of things we can do. And there's other confidants that'll be available to us a little bit later. Uh, but for the time being, we'll just see how far we can go. 
there's gonna be a lot of jumps because of the plot stuff, but regardless, we're still gonna try to show off as many new things as we can. So until next time, everyone, take care.